Okay, so, hello, and welcome to our Redstone 101. This is by Dinosaur Crab and Kitty Cat Jack. Indeed. Now, I'm more of a Redstone person than you, really, aren't I? Yeah, you've used it more than me. See, but that's, that's me, isn't it? Yep, hey, see? Hey, hey, hey. Even your skin's red as well. Yep. Now, this is a basic knot gate, so, um, so it's made by having a Redstone torch and cobblestone, or any type of block. When you step on it, the input is negated. I'm standing on a pressure plate because uh, it's just a basic input. But you can um, use anything else like a pressure pad, a button, or a lever, can't you? Lever, yes. Sorry, lever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that covers the base knock gate. Now, they're the basis for everything, as you can see in this AND gate. It's made by two inputs, as you can see there. First one. Yeah. And second one. And they connect up to two redstone torches, one either side. With and there's a knot gate on the back. Yes. Uh, there's redstone on top connected to that middle one. Now that's the output I'm pointing to now. When I stand on this one. Stand. <laughs> yeah, so basically when you get both the inputs to go off. Be pure or whatever, true. Then yeah. you can use the input to open doors and stuff. Do you mind? Ooh. Nope. Uh, as you can see through there, the input, uh, the output even is on. So that that's where it would work for doors and stuff. Yeah. But if one person moves away, then or one input becomes not stop that. If one input becomes not true, then the output is off. But when both are powered, which is basically true. Uh, that's how the people, professionals, do it. Uh, that's how, what they call them. Now Protein. this is an OR gate. It's basically a NOT gate. Built exactly the same except with three inputs. So when any of them are powered, the output is unpowered. And it doesn't matter which one you choose, the output will be unpowered. So now, this is just a basic tutorial on the length. Because redstone only, only stretches 15 blocks, and I've measured out the... Um, 5, 10, 15 there. As you can see, it stops after the 15th. So, um, what you can do is you can make a redstone repeater, which is three stone. On t uh, and on top of the stone is um, one redstone torch, one redstone, then followed by another redstone torch. So, that's basically how to make that, and it's a little bit of a delay as well. 0 0.1 seconds, it has four different settings, as you can see here. 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. And next bit is vertical um, transmission, uh, which I'm about to show you. I'll stand back on the pressure plate eventually. Here we go. Now, as you can see, the blocks to the left, it basically inverts each time it goes up. Because there, so it's step off now. Yeah, so that would be handy if you want to use it for an input further up. Yeah, and I'll show you slightly more on that later on and how it can be useful. But, um, now I think it is... Uh, yes, that's, I'm just showing you how to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we did pre-record this, so... Yeah. We're wait. not talking live, so... <laughs> it's kind of annoying because I can't remember what I actually did. But, um, yeah, so is there any way of... Making it go downwards, or uh, yeah, but it's far more complicated. And once you get used to redstone, you'll figure out your own pathways and such. So basically, you just couldn't be asked. Uh, for one of better terms, yes. Now, um, <laughs> I'm not particularly sure why I'm walking all the way over here. And yeah, that is your character. Yeah, we're controlling the other person's character, but I don't know why you walked me all the um, way over there. Yeah, so I was controlling your character, and my character uh, must no, have lagged out. That. Enough of that. And I could see you spare me. <laughs> <laughs> so, redstone connects straight to a door, door class is an output, and um, when you stand on the pressure plate, it outputs power so that the door becomes open. And it doesn't matter which one, if it has one powered input, the whole output will be powered. So, that's useful for just a nice door. But you don't have to have the redstone from the plate to the door itself, as I'm about to walk. <laughs> As this is my pretty house. Yes, Jack built this house while I was setting up everything else. Yeah, we're just about to demonstrate how you can just use pressure pads right next to yeah. the door. It just goes straight to the door and works just the same as the example before. 
No which, need for redstone. Yeah. I actually quite prefer that example. But um you may be able to hear some background dog noise. Now this is a the lever when you click it, it stays powered or click. unpowered. And that's basically how that works. We would show you a button but I forgot to add buttons in. It's basically the same except it is uh it doesn't stay, it only stays for very slow. And you yeah. can use a redstone torch instead. It's like a pressure pad for a wall. Uh -huh. Now this is a very basic set where I have an AND gate there, as you can see. And a lever behind on the wall, which outputs to one of them, and the pressure plate on the floor uh, outputs to the other. Now this goes down the output, and this is the vertical transmission I was talking about. I've had to invert it once more time, because I needed it the right certain way. But if I stand on the pressure pad now, nothing happens because the lever is not right. So if I do that, it opens the door. Magic. Very basic lock. So um, you could place the lever on the other side, which would um, make it sort of secure. Um, door yeah. type well, item. There is a way of making the door lockable from the other side using yeah. just a redstone torch and uh, two levers, but I'm unsure how you do that. Uh, I think you use an all gate. You have to invert the door itself. Yeah. Ah. Anyhow, this is my favourite item. I recently built one of these for you in um, our way of Minecraft server g3-radio.net, mc.g3-radio.net I should say. Um, but it's basically a combination lock. You have to get the right combination in order for it to output true and it just uses the, an all gate. I've improperly labelled this one because uh, I am an idiot. But Only that, on Sundays. Hmm? Only on Sundays. What do you mean, only on Sundays? I don't know. I just thought Anyhow. I can't review it. Yeah, so I've messed this up because I'll show you that a little later. But it sort of stays on. I found this out much to my disadvantage now. Because um, it's sort of just creating a, a loop there, which is very bad with redstone. Got to try to avoid loops, and that power will disappear now. So redstone is a little bit of magic, and yeah, so if I put the code right now, it'll open straight away, and wrong, right, wrong, correct, yeah, so that's pretty basic, um, but now my favourite thing is uh, to instead use a delay in opening and closing the door, because it gives you more of a time to get through the door. And um, as you can see, they're all just lighting up. 0 0.4 seconds I have them each set here. I've got to count them, me being me. That'll be yeah. like 5 seconds or something. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 12, five, 7. Stop it! That's not nice. That's so funny I'm, though. Yes, it is. It's just a, it's a nice, so you can get through, you can put the lock far away and then leg it to your house. It's good for having like delay circuits for long transmissions as well. You can set it to, I think if you put each one to 0 0.2 it's sort of a walking pace. So you can in fact outrun the redstone. But, um, I think that's pretty much everything covered and um, so yeah I'll just take you back through here looking at all the lovely things that you've made for us Jack. Oh, at my garden. House. The flowers and, and the um, as you can see right over there in the distance is a little project I'm working on which um, I might might upload at some point but um, I'm just checking if I had a sign because that's kitty cat Jack's character as you can see there it's a little cat <laughs> meow meow so here we go I'll try and type I'm good with redstone but not typing so Thanks for watching. I've been Daniel the Crab. And I'm Kitty Cat Jack. And thank you. Goodbye.